and it just shh, how, how quickly and I, I could just like that's such a loud car and on this road too jeez there are cops crawling everywhere so wow that guy's just hauling ass like that I believe they call it a butterfly valve, but I want to get one for the Supra um, eventually. Um, I want to do like a full exhaust system uh, where there are two, two like a, oh, thank you for the follow, big fish guy. Um, but uh, yeah, K Kona Brothers, them K Kona Boys at 430. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, there's a lot of cops on this road, especially, and even at night too, but oh, well, I don't know if that guy will get out. Uh, Take it free, but we'll see. I mean, I don't want to see him, but I don't know. It's weird how many cops are, like, here and out and about. And a lot of times they're not even, like, uh, local. Well, I mean, sometimes, most of the times they're local, but every now and again we'll get, like, a lot of, like, uh, uh, state police, too. And uh, sometimes we'll get people from, uh, like, Middletown, too, which is pretty crazy because it's, like, really far away, like, 30 minutes away, and they're just out here pulling people over and doing their jobs just like away from where they normally would be interesting interesting indeed <sighs> Kate Kona brother Kate Kona Kentucky Shirogane, bro. Frick. I love that guy. You also have a lot of rabbits on the small road by the shop. I noticed a bunch when we were came through last time. We also have a lot of rabbits on the small road by the shop. On the small road. Uh, the small road. I think it's called Zoltan Road. I don't know which which road. The little. Did you go through the gravel entrance or did you go through the regular one? Okay, you went the small road. Are you either referring to Zoltan or like the little gravel road that leads up to the donut shop, which is like the secret entrance. Um. Um. I've actually never seen seen a bunch of rabbits, but maybe, maybe. Up the hill, gravel. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, I've never seen rabbits there. I used to, as a kid, I used to think, oh, what if there's an alligator living here? If you look, uh, my cousin and uh, Sky went looking around over there, um, and uh, they found like a whole bunch of dead birds. So my idea is that there's a bunch of cats that, uh, that there's like, or there's at least a couple cats that are there and they're just like hunting birds. And they'll, there's a bunch of bird skeletons in like a, a spot if you find it on that gravel road. Um, thank you for the follow, um, Rob, Rob Ozzy. I almost said Rob Ussi. Let's go. Thank you, Rob Ozzy, for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, I think we're actually really close to hitting 5K follows. Um, I have nothing prepared. I can't believe I have nothing prepared for 5K follows. I should probably try to do something tomorrow. In celebration of 5K. Thank you, Rob. All right. Uh, really, there are a bunch of baby rabbits hopping around. Oh, really? I didn't, I, I didn't see that. Why not? Now I'm sad I haven't seen it yet. Uh, there's a, uh, sometimes you'll see beavers. Oh yeah, there's a, um, so there's a trailer. There's a weird trailer that's just been in the back of the donut shop, or like the backyard of the strip mall. And uh, I think, I guess my landlord owns it, but uh, one of the trucks recently got moved, but there's a trailer that's just there. And uh, that trailer, 
um, has beavers under it. And I've like, I've walked around in the back sometimes and I'll see like just a beaver. I bet you that's crazy. I see a beaver. Uh, first time you came, GPS took you up the gravel road instead of the paved entrance. That's weird. I uh, I never get that uh, that GPS entrance. Wow, I really have to pee, and I may have to take a small restroom break. I haven't had to pee this bad in a while. <laughs> Um, they like the, uh, they like the jam filled donuts that I'm making. Nice, nice. Nice. What is your all's favorite donuts? Everyone in chat, type your favorite donut right now. My favorite donut is a cinnamon roll. Donut holes, <clears throat> donut holes are also pretty fire as well. Fashions for Aaron, nice, nice, nice. Jam, I thought it was jelly. It is jelly. Uh, food, I mean, to me, to, to, to me, to me, jam and jelly are the same. Uh, there is a difference between jam and jelly, but I, I actually don't know. Well, the difference is that you can't, you can't jelly your, this dick in your mom's eye. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, but what is the actual difference between jam and jelly? I'm pretty sure there is one. Like, there's like a difference between like preserved fruit or something. You're a fan of sugar and cinnamon donuts. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that Sky is actually on the move. Uh, Sky is indeed on the move. Oh, 
I forgot to call re, uh, call Luke again. So I want this guy to have the day off, but I may actually ask him to work like the first 10 minutes or something. Just until Luke gets here. I called Luke way later than I was supposed to. Hello? He did not wake up to that one. Let's see if he wakes up to this one. Uh, jelly, fruit juice, uh, jam, actual fruit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, they use jam in Australian bakeries for donuts. Uh, you can, I mean, here you have different types, but here we use uh, jelly. Yeah. And then fruit preserves. So, like, the difference, well, I guess I don't have an example of a jam, but um, the uh, the apple filling, that is a preserve. That's like, those are, like, apple preserves. Actually, no, that's filling, because preserves are different than filling. But I guess filling and preserves are pretty close to each other. Fruit filling and fruit. I guess, well, actually, is it, would my apples be more like jam, or would that be more like preserves? Maybe it would be more like a jam. I guess my apple's more of like jam, because there is the actual fruit in it. Also getting a huge uh, Don shipment. I spent the most I've ever spent on a Don shipment this this time around, and I realized I forgot to order pecans. Which I don't know. They they are the most expensive. They're, they're one of the actually like really they're really expensive. Like a thirty pound box of pecans costs like two hundred dollars, and a box of, like a uh, I think it's like a ten pound box of peanuts or fifteen pound box of peanuts only costs like thirty or forty dollars. So like in comparison. I, it's super, peanuts are way cheaper than pecans. The first time I found that out, I was like, why do I still make peanut donuts? It has large chunks, it, uh, it preserve. Okay, 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 so my apple filling is more of a preserve type. Okay, okay, interesting. Interesting. I was watching some Google Foods yesterday, and alligator has no smell. I did not know that. And alligator, there's uh, if you take the tail right, you'll see different parts of it have different uh, looks. So like, the meat surrounding.
Thank you for the follow from Ironically Buns. Thank you. I saw uh, uh, Julius Caesar. I think he was. Who was it? It was um, a big conqueror guy. He um, he was captured by pirates, and they had asked for about three hundred million in today's money. And he said, "That is that is obscene. That is disgustingly low. Make the make the ransom higher." And then he would um, he would mess with the guys because they would try to mess with him in his sleep. He said, "Don't mess with me in my sleep." And he promised them that he would see them again. And he actually ended up becoming friends with them and became friendly. Uh, and then he promised that he would see them again uh, after, uh, I guess, the ransom was paid. And he went back, found them, and crucified every single person on that boat. What a wild guy that guy is. I want to say it's Caesar, but it may not be Caesar. If someone knows that story, please enlighten me. Uh, this guy should be here soon, so I might even throw him the fryer now.
Um, he was he was on demon mode. Was it Caesar? How do we confirm Caesar? Hello, Tank. Buenos dias. Yes. Alright. I'll see you later. You don't want to help for the first 10 minutes? Alright, this guy's leaving. Is that listos? Is that listos? Pone un apron. Uh, where we located? We're located in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. No, no, no. Yeah, we're located in Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. And it was Caesar. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice. What a crazy guy Caesar is. Absolute bad lad. Now he is a lad. Now he is a lad. All right. Oh, I forgot to ask a really big important question. Uh, ¿Tienes el teléfono? Negro. Negro, sí. Gotta call Sky back. Hey, Did you say black? That is the only word you know in Spanish. Why is that the only why is that the only Spanish word you know, buddy? You gamer. You abs you gamer. You want any excuse to use the gamer word. Nah, you just learned in a history class. Right, 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 right. Right. Them English teachers be crazy. They be reading that, uh, some of them books that just, whoosh, just go hard. Going hard for no reason. They're just, how do you say, historically of the time, you know? The, 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 you can tell those pieces of art were made at the time. Good morning. Did you say good morning? Good morning. Uh, Sky dropped him off and this guy's having the day off. Oh, what was it? You answered the questions. Oh. Yeah, actually, uh, he's going back to the house for the uh, for the phone. So he'll be back in like a little bit.
Command loop. They gotta, they gotta count you, boy. Our teacher said that we could say the N word during a uh, reenactment of a scene in history to do with black civil rights. Interesting. I know some of y'all kids. Was this in? This was in the U.S., right? And you said you used to live in Seattle. In Seattle, a teacher let you say the N-word in a historical reenactment. That, how old were you? Like 12? <laughs> like 12? <laughs> and you're just like... Oh, dude, you know, that's in New Zealand. In New Zealand, they teach you about um, civil rights activists. And is it in... in uh, that was this year. You were 16, and the, the history teacher let you do that. Was it, was it History of America or New Zealand? I don't know how long New Zealand has been established. I assumed it was like the 1900s, so I don't know if... But it was it was taken by the British, so I had assumed that slaves weren't a thing and the weren't a thing. But I know some of y'all were like... You, should, you guys should look up the uh, Roy Jones uh, clip of... the. He's a comic who does... Uh, I'm not sure if his name is Roy Jones. I'm, I may be confusing with Roy Jones Jr., the boxer. Um, but he talks about uh, uh, Django Unchained. Uh, he talks about that movie and talks about how great uh, uh, Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio is that, like, you know, just, like, saying what he did. Uh, it was why the um, black civil rights movement had an effect on New Zealand. Interesting. Now, were there some kids who, like, dropped it hard? Like, like they made sure to enunciate every single, like, syllable? There was a clip of Vince McMahon. He was talking to John Cena, and uh, he was like, "What's good in the hood?" And then John Cena just says, "Nothing much, just, just hanging on to the belt." Have you seen that clip of Vince McMahon, where he says the N word? He's talking to John Cena. He's like, he's like, "What's good in the hood, brother?" And uh, I haven't seen that one. And uh, he just he said, "That's good, my N word." And then I think he walks off. And does he? There, I think there was a black wrestler. I may have been a black wrestler. Oh, there was a black male and a black female. I'm not sure if they were wrestlers, though. They were? Okay. That's crazy. And he, the way he says it, too, is like, man, he's always been wanting to say that. Your history class is majority women, but yes, someone said the hard R. Damn. Damn. Penny Iron in New Zealand, there was a play where the history teacher let them say the N-word. This year. funny to me. It's a play. No. I don't agree. Actually, well... How do you feel about well, Tarantino? Shit, that's right. I was about to say Dango Chain. I will watch it. You know what? Maybe, you know what? Maybe I gotta draw a line. And I think my line is a little too far. May need to trace it back. <laughs> it's just like... Like in, uh... Like an English class? In the you spin right now. You spin. You spin. So what I'm saying is that anyone can say him right now, right? <laughs> you kind of spin. But it's like... I feel like it's just some kids who really want to say it, you know? Like Leonardo DiCaprio, the uh, whenever Jamie Foxx is talking about how how uh, Leo was before the scene and and then after, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it.
Major, uh, so it was majorly women, but like, was it a dude who said it? Uh, I'm talking to Bangy Aaron about his history class where someone said the harder. Andrew Schultz talks about uh, there was one kid who was uh, in, who came from China, and he you know, he didn't really know any bad words. And they would like, be like, hey, say, say this, say this, and they had him say the hard R, and uh, all the homies were laughing, and the black guys were like, nah, it's all right, you don't even know what the word is, it's just funny. Yes. That's like the uh, the Roy Jones clip. What's I think it's com- his name is Roy Jones. It's not the boxer, the comedian, and uh, he talks about the, he he does the Django on on, on he does a Django joke. About if you're gonna tell my history though, you have to have a white man being a a uh, notoriously terrible human being, you know. Kind of like, and then he talks about uh, Leo's depiction. You're not saying you hadn't said it once or twice, but you almost never say it, and it kind of feels uncomfortable. It definitely does make you feel uncomfortable. Stormtrooper shot. Uh, Stormtrooper no shot. Yo, Hangek. Yo, Stormtrooper. Good morning. Good morning. You can actually eat one another one. Oh, you get hungry, I got you. I made a couple extra. If you get hungry later in the day, you can have another one. Uh, how are you on this fine day, man? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? How about yourself? I'm doing A-OK. Can't complain. gonna assume that today's gonna be a prime day for donut making all good in rainy scotland wow scotland huh it's a uh, cloudy over here in kentucky usa what part of scotland are you from can you speak gaelic all right can i can i show you my gaelic impression <clears throat> oh i should i i don't know sorry i can't speak gaelic and i actually it's i think it's funny <sighs> It's like a Scottish accent, but you can't. Or just Scottish English. Just, well. Yeah, yeah. You can't speak it either? Oh, I got you, I got you. Try saying Borsh Magosh. Borsh Magosh. Hey, Borsh Magosh. Borsh Magosh. Hey, yeah, fucking. Okay. Yeah, fucking okay, Borsh Magosh. Was that good? I feel like that was good. Has it arrived? What has arrived? Oh, oh no. Oh, both of these. Oh, okay. Dang. We know what it was, my bad. Do you want the tracking so you can follow it too? There, nice. Uh, I'm now Anglo Scottish slash Irish. Nice, nice. Burish me goish. What does that mean? Burish me goish. Hi, laddie. 
Ay, la tía. Where are you from Scotland? You're turning in from. Uh, you have no idea, just kind of a noise that sounds impressive. I'm about 20 30 minutes from Glasgow. Glasgow is the uh, capital of Scotland, right? Glasgow, Glasgow, Glasgow. I don't know how to say it in Scottish. You just want to play some Street Fighter. Tiss, tiss, tiss. Get your, get, get your ass handed to you. I got you, I got you. Bro. Frick, man, frick. Why did Sky switch cars? Pog you nut. Hello. Yo, Pog you nut. Why did you uh, switch the car? I didn't feel like looking for stuff as much today. Um, Anything new orders? Uh, besides, uh, Ed. Ed, we have a six dozen mix at 8 o'clock. Good, good. I like that. Gospel. Can you uh, can you help me with uh, making door? Can you uh, put pull up the small one? I, can you make, help me make door real quick? Real quick, real quick, real quick. Just fill it cold water and then also fill out the fruit. I think today's gonna be pretty good since it's uh, <clears throat> good weather. What kind of speakers did you get? I got Kenwood and Pioneer. Kenwood How much were they? Front and then Pioneer for the back. How much were they? Um, the Kenwood was about sixty-five bucks, uh -huh. and then the Pioneer was thirty. The whole thing? The uh, yeah, the whole thing. You way out to the phone? Yep. I 
set up a tattoo on my back to get the scarecrow from Towson to the castle right here. How big? The That's my forearm. Oh, sick. Uh, the scarecrow, I, I think I have like a vague recollection of what it looks like. I'm thinking about getting a uh, Aspire uh, Sakyam tattoo on my uh, forearm. And then also the turtle. Hopefully he didn't take offense to me asking him if he knew colors in English. I didn't realize he knew. He was like grabbing different colors and I was like, hmm, I wonder if he knows the different colors in English. Um, Glaz, Glazgo is the right way to spell it, to say it. And uh, Frankie Beats, hey yo, doll. Oh wait, I didn't even see that was you. All right, uh, shout out to Frankie Beats. Uh, you're spelling don't know with the, with the email. I got you, bro. Good morning, good morning, man. I didn't even read your name. I, 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 your name was Pink and Pink is a little bit hard for me to read and there was a little bit of flower on my phone. So I didn't read the name. I didn't see it. Um, can we get a shout out for Frankie Beats? Frankie was the was the guy I saw with uh, when I went to when I went to go meet up with Kia Pia at I believe the event was called DreamCon. Uh, Frankie Beats was uh, also there as well. So a cool experience meeting him. Um, so shout out to him as well. If any of my mom, okay, good. Let's go, let's go. I joined into a stream yesterday. Gotta watch a little bit. You good? Oh, and I saw you have the uh, "Welcome to the Jungle" banner on the uh, the, fl the "Welcome to the Jungle" flag on your at the back wall. I'm thinking about getting one too. Is uh, five twenty-two. Oh, and also the ginger uh, and rice is in that bag over there. So whenever you got some downtime, you can heat it up and eat it.
So quick question. Uh, those speakers your brother mentioned, is he putting sub in his car? He is gonna, yes, he's gonna, I, he's gonna put an amp in his in the car, and it's uh it's from the Supra. He's gonna take the one that's in the Supra, and he's gonna put it into his car. And I'm sorry I didn't read it, read what you said earlier. What model exactly? Sounds like sketch speakers, my dude. Um, those speakers you put in your car cost 150, at least no cap. Um, yeah, the speakers that I got were were uh, 100 each. I got the JBLs, pretty expensive ones. Um, this guy seemed that he cheaped out on it. I, I mean, I don't know too much about speakers, but I can. Thirty dollars for rears is pretty cheap. But I don't think Scott will care. Um, he he's not that like he's really not musically like in tone. He he just like he, if there's enough bass, he does not care. So the amp will be good enough for him. I thought you would tell Scott to return them and put all the money into the front speakers. Oh, that's good. That's a good idea. I'll probably, I'll probably tell him something tomorrow. Or, I mean, uh, later. Huh? Or tell him to pay off his credit card debt. Yeah, I forgot about that part, too. You should probably do that. You only need a front and a sub. Speaking from experience, going through 18 to 25, your car had to uh, your car had to have a baking stereo for show, for show. My man. You start realizing that ringing in your ears isn't from the subs. You start to realize that the ringing in your ears is from your subs. Right, right, right. Once you're at 30, it's all downhill. I'd rather have an empty trunk anyway, because uh, 
Well, I guess I gotta remove the NOS as well, because the target top on the Supra can remove, and you can actually store the the, the top inside the trunk of the car. Um, but the NOS and the amp is uh, blocking the uh, is blocking it. So you've been meaning to ask how uh, how do donuts that haven't been proved taste slash cook compared to those that are proof? So they're a lot tighter. They don't have as much. Um, they taste similar. They just uh, but it's a little bit like it's a little bit more doughy, t tasty, kind of like raw, more dough tasting. But the taste really isn't super affected. But the uh, the the texture makes the experience very bad. Actually, it does taste a little different. It does taste like more like dough. Like it tastes more like raw dough, even though it is cooked. Make sure it's backed up against the. It's like no, the uh, that thing is like level. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Luke. Luke just murdered the phone.
Thank you for the follow, uh, Nemo. It's so entertaining uh, to chill sometimes. Mm. Oh, my bad. I didn't. So you found a stream that someone set up that requires no inputs. Huh. Wait, Luke killed China. And you, so you found a stream that someone set up that requires no inputs. Someone looped a seal gif with music. And it's so entertaining to chill sometimes. It requires no inputs. So it's just a live feed of a seal dancing. And then it's uh, music. There's a goldfish, there's a, if you go into the aquarium streams, you'll find a lot of those, just like, uh, 24 hour streams that are just animals, just do diddle daddle. It's just a gift, huh? It's not even a live feed. Hmm. So it's kind of like a YouTube video? requires no input in like what way like like no input of like you needing to input anything it's just a it's just like a not really anything happening just music sort of okay sort of kind of like a youtube video Leg is not present, right? Any any dropping frames anyone noticed or anything?
have done a whole trade thing with the screen on. Shimmer, set it up and forget. It kind of makes you sad that people actually work into the streams like you, and someone just can set a give and repeat. Uh, and since Twitch is so tiny, brainlets, um, that, that sale pulls money, it's time for now. And uh, it was a little choppy earlier. Um, 99, yes. The number of the goat. 99? Who's the goat?
I was trying to see that the lure box, or where should I put the, uh, where should I keep the uh, text box? And I decided on keeping it uh, lower on the screen and then making it a little bit bigger because Pancake, uh, Pancake's username is a little long. So I was like, oh, it's showing dots. So I was like, I can make it a little bigger. But I see you're a third way there. Nice, man. Nice, nice. And Wayne Gretzky. I don't even know who that guy is. I mean, it is, it, all right. Going on the point of like, it does kind of suck that streams like mine aren't like really big and massive. Um, it's just, you know, it's almost this thing of like, how much can you take of something? Uh, some people are better at just watching donuts get made all the time. Um, building like a solid base of people who would really love to watch is, is pretty difficult. Um, and sometimes those those videos where nothing is really happening, it's live, but you get the chat. Um, maybe you get a little bit feeling out of it. Just It's just a little stream. And it, it's, you know, sometimes that's more comfortable and that's something you want to watch while, or I guess listen to while you're doing something and they get to you know get gifted subs or they get bits or they get uh, money for just doing that and it's easy um, but uh, I mean it, it is what it is I just can't keep up you know what would be insane is if that stream was like promoted by twitch or something or like that twitch was like that stream was like literally made by twitch or something you know like twitch knows that some people are just into that stuff and that some people would just give random stuff and then put just behind it all or something, you know? So they receive all the revenue. That would be kind of nuts. Insane conspiracy theory. Which, like, hey, get your bread up, you know? Pay me more. Well, if I want to get paid more, I need to, uh... <laughs> I gotta get partnered, which I am very far away from. I'm not very close anymore. The only thing I can really do is kind of promote people to, uh, I guess I can promote people to like, hey, please sub, please give subs, but, because that genuinely does actually promote, like, in the algorithm of Twitch, because Twitch is a business to try to make money as well, so the streams that get gifted subs are the streams that are also promoted, um, and uh, I definitely used to be more on, like, advertise, or like, I used to be more uh, put out there. I think it was a lot because I used to get a lot of gifted subs, a lot of bits. Um, it's like a, a little bit slow down. I think Twitch in general is on a little decline right now. Um, probably because there is like a... Everyone needs to be tired with their money. So my stream is kind of one of those I kind of miss out a little bit. And uh, next there, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Hashtag PP. All right, fam, it's only 4 a.m. You're going to get some rest. All right, man, I'll see you, bro. Sleep well, be well. Enjoy the rest, and I'll probably tell Sky about this uh, speaker situation a little bit later.
19 more of each to go. Let's go, let's go. That's my boy right there. Let's go. Gonna look like a JoJo pose one day. Look like a JoJo pose one day. So we have no more big boxes, and that's going to cause like quite a bit of an issue because we have a six dozen order. Plus, people who just want to get normal dozens are just going to have to kind of have to get their donuts put in a little bit smaller box, um, or maybe split it up between different boxes. And hopefully, it doesn't cause too much issue. And hopefully, we get to see no one has to like be like actually no, nah, I don't want a dozen. I just take a couple less, you know. <sighs> Forgot about that. All right. Well, I'll get my shipment later. The later in the day. Six thousand orders gonna have to be put in uh, those mediums. You can split it up, um, and I'll probably end up helping you make it because I'll probably be done before eight. Yeah. Actually, can you send a text to that order? One, two, three, four, five, four, six, right there. Big boxes? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. Those. Oh, good. Nice. <laughs> okay. I, I thought there was zero there. There's I six right there for you to throw it. Right. Well, those can be for the order then. 
Just hit him with the. I'm sorry about that, but we'll be good. We'll be good at like eight o'clock. I don't know, nine o'clock. I don't know when they're coming. Ten or eleven. Just say we'll have it tomorrow. They should be. Yeah. The weather's good, so they shouldn't have any excuse. Is that the only order? Um, that and Ed. So get a box for Ed. And... Oh. For Ed, I'm gonna give him an extra. Oh, nice! You're done. Good job. Congratulations, man. And I'm uh just make you think of regular show. Why is that? Yo, I caught he, bro. He must be Mordecai because everything he do is regular. You're going to go to bed now. Good night, man, and have a good rest of the stream. All right, man. I'll see you, bro, bro. Have a good uh, rest. Sleep well. Enjoy school. See you, man. Shoosh. Um, yeah. That one will work, yeah. Do a smile yeah. His back hurts. Mm-hmm. Well, that one you don't have to send. Uh, you can just say we got it, but not nah, about that. There's an episode where they go to a bakery and there are upper fritters about to throw away because they're accidentally double glazed and not safe for human consumption. There's a there's a show there's a episode of regular show where they eat upper fritters. I feel like I somewhat remember this. They were extra glazed. They were no the upper fritters are double glazed and not safe for consumption. I feel like those are one of the episodes I saw of regular show. I wasn't allowed to. Oh, it's not that I wasn't allowed. It's that my mom didn't buy uh, Cartoon Network. So I only had like cards. I only had like Nickelodeon and like uh, I think I had not Toonami, but it's a it's a show. It was a channel called Four Kids, and it had a lot of anime on there. I remember I used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh and I used to watch uh, I used to watch uh, uh, Dragon Ball on there until Nickelodeon took Dragon Ball, and then I would just watch Dragon Ball on Nickelodeon. It's not Toonami. Toonami is the... Oh, it's, it's past... That's that's before me. It was another show. It was similar to Cartoon... I think Cartoon Network actually bought that place out. I'm not sure. Whoosh. Four kids, they did One Piece too. Nice. I'm I'm sad I never got into One Piece, because now I have to catch up. I have to eventually start watching One Piece and then take about three years to catch up to episode one K. And then in three years it'll be at like twelve hundred and won't even be close to finishing. I saw a clip of Bor- uh, Boruto, uh, Naruto Sons show. Bro, that show is ass. The uh, the filler. There was, um, I saw someone post, like, one of the, uh, scenes from the show. There was, like, a training piece with, uh, Boruto and some other kid. And it is straight up ass. And their, their claim was, like, there is no show that should be, there's no, like, show that should be a weekly show that isn't One Piece. This Oh, okay. Actually, I did not even picture that in my head. Look up Sak Yant, so S A K Y A N T, uh, forearm tattoo. There was a guy there at the uh, at the rock climbing gym that had one. I thought it was pretty sick. Well, it was similar. It wasn't exactly that. 
Uh, no. Actually, similar. It has like more like it's more like straight lines. It's it's all di like dialogue. Yes, one of those. Let's go ahead. I don't know. There's a part of me that like doesn't want to, and then it's like it would look so cool. It would. Like I would just be pining. I would first be like, yeah, <laughs> pining that shit with the power. Yeah. Until like you had for two years and you don't need to really pine anymore. It also brings that that same as well. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm gonna wait until I'm like 150, around 150 pounds, 150 pounds, and I'll be lean to where the points where like I think I'll make the decision of like do I want to be tatted or not. But um, I'm thinking I want to get a calf piece and then I also want to get a a forearm. But I don't know if I want anything up on like my my upper arm. my my dad's master some questions about it he's nearly 70 and bro has insane knowledge on fighting and stuff he actually trains the uh uh the cambodian um one one fc fighter uh rotana really cool Samurai. I had assumed that you already followed, but I appreciate it, man. Wait, no, 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 you're Afro Samurai. You're actually not the guy I was thinking of earlier. I'm sorry. I was Afro Man is another guy in my stream. Who actually has an orange name like yours. I don't know if your name is always orange. And we just got raided with a huge party. Oh my gosh. Maury Wakes, thank you so much for the raid. Um, hello, welcome to my stream. Mori raid, Mori raid, Mori. Good morning. Thank you so much for the huge raid. My mod just went to sleep, so I'm going to um, I'm going to shout you out myself. I'll do it myself. Thank you so much. How was your stream? Uh, thank you for finding me. Um, my name is Hung Ek. I make donuts. Oh, you play Valorant. Nice, nice, nice. I we. Um, Noi Mu. Oh, you know what's crazy? Cold leader. Thank you for the follow. Is that we're actually like I think we just hit 5k about to uh, follow all right I am OMG what kind of donuts are you making those are apple fritters all right I'm six followers away from uh, 5,000 followers what am I gonna do to celebrate 5,000 followers I have zero idea me and Luke might just we might do a challenge of who can eat a blueberry donut faster or something I don't know who can eat a glazed donut faster that actually be kind of cool I've actually never like done that on stream actually I've eaten donuts before on stream it's just uh, send us all your donuts. Yes, sir. I got you. Um, but welcome to the stream. My name is Hungek. I'm 18 years old. I've been streaming for nine months. Um, I have been making donuts for about a year and three months. Um, my dad was the original owner of this joint. And uh, all my parents. And uh, my mom is currently in Mexico living up her life. And then uh, I'm uh, over here just <laughs> continuing what I did and always have done. Yeah. <laughs> what a goofy guy. But um, yeah, this is the donut shop where I grew up, and uh, a lot of a lot of good memories here. I got a nice little setup. I fry the donuts, proof the donuts, um, ch glaze, chocolate, do whatever, caramel, even. <laughs> Um, hopefully it's not lagging. I'm gonna put my PC on performance on um, stream laptop. So my favorite donuts are cinnamon rolls. Um, 
it would be these donuts here. These aren't fried yet. I think it's kind of a little obvious, maybe. Um, Sinister uh, Hiyoka. Thank you for the follow. Uh, cinnamon rolls here. Uh, I'm not sure how zoomed in my camera is right now, so I'm just kind of hoping it catches it and goes in focus. Um, but those are my cinnamon rolls. Um, I love the sensor of one of those. Fantastic. Um, sinister, hey, no problem. Don't worry about it, man. Thank you for the coming in with the raid. Always very positive. And also, donut holes are very fire as well. I love donut holes. Especially hot donut holes. Just came out fresh, fresh glaze. The donut holes only we get to eat most only, only we get to eat sometimes. Well, on a busy day, we'll be moving around. We fry something. The customer asks for it like uh, five minutes. And then we'll fry it up for him. It'd be absolutely fire. Did you see Jimmy's reaction when we ate one of those? Who? Jimmy's reaction when we ate one of the like, hot donut holes. I think he did it here. Yeah. Yeah. And then after whatever I went home, you're still talking about it. Nice. Uh, like the best donut he's ever eaten, and he can't believe it melted in his mouth like that. Yeah. Yeah. My bro, my donuts are insane. Uh, Paul, pal Ryan, thank you for the follow. Good morning. You can also just microwave them too, and they they kind of get a little bit of that. And remember, don donuts you microwave for a very short time. I'm sure a donut hole, you'd microwave for like two seconds, and you're probably good. Same rolls are great, but personally, personally, you prefer orange rolls. I have never heard orange rolls. <laughs> are they actually like from oranges? Like they actually have the flavor of oranges? I'm actually gonna put this uh, this tray of apple fritters in. So these are my apple fritters. Nice apples. Um, here are some jellies. These are all not fried yet. I got some donuts already made over there. Not sure you guys. So these are jellies. Lon Johns. The Mexican came out of you. <laughs> I just was in disbelief that it happened. I was like, oh my god, dude, what is so fucking wrong? And then I had to pull it up. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, similars are great, but you prefer those. So, donuts would be perfect right now. Yes, yes, yes. Um, well, you fill them up with orange marmalade and citrus glaze and zest on top. Wow, that is sounds like something I have never heard of. That is sounds incredible. Um, I'm a pretty simple, I'm a simple guy, you know, I like the simple things. Um, got uh, just a very regular donuts. There is a menu command, if you guys can uh, type that for me. My hands are a little full, if you can tell. Um, but I do appreciate you all. And uh, Mori, how did you find my stream? And I'm sorry, is Mori a proper way to refer to you or should I use Mori Wakes? And is it Mori Wakes or is it like another way of saying it? And also, how long have you been streaming for? I see that you're a Pog partner. Pog. There's also a meme menu. Uh, like if you if you if you type in command meme menu, there's a there's another one too. Um, any y'all watch anime? <laughs> any any anime watchers in here? I was watching Love Is War, and I'm on the last episode, and my internet went out yesterday. And my data, I have used more than 35 gigs in uh, in under a couple of days, or in under like a month. So I can't even use like I can't even watch Love. I can't even watch the show. So I, I mean, now I need to watch the finale later whenever I get home. I hate it. Oh. No emu, you uh, you recommended me. Let's go. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Afro Samurai. Yeah, you watch anime. Nice, nice. nice. I'm assuming Afro Samurai is your favorite anime, or do you have other favorites? I have a uh, command anime. If you want to see my favorite anime lists, Cold Leader. You rarely watch. Do you read manga at all? I don't read manga. FYI, I'm a. Uh, I'm not smart enough to read manga. I forgot that. 
shit's in Spanish, and I was looking at it, like, man, that's a crazy name you got right there, bro. But I, uh, Evangelion, I don't know if you guys can see that one. I love Evangelion. Well, recently, the first time I watched Evangelion, it put me in a two-week depression. But look at the sky. Is lavender or? You know the streaks that airplanes leave that are white? Yeah. The sky looks like that just to me. All right, you guys are, all right, we're going we're gonna to go look at the sky chat. Also, I'm going to show you guys the front of the donut shop. Now, there's not going to be audio because my microphone is set up here. Uh, slightly off screen. But I'm going to show you guys the front because Luke says it looks really pr pretty and it's pink and the airplane streaks look really cool. So I'm going to make these last like three and then we're going to, I'm going to take you guys and see the, see the, uh, the front. You read some manga but not in, not in interest and uh, it's on your top five anime but uh, you can never, you can never decide what your favorite is. Yeah, my favorites are really weird, right? So those, I say like it's not depicted in any order because... It's like really just how I'm feeling on that day and it's also like there's such different genres that I can't see that this one is better than the other one like the, it's just, they're just goat they're just goaded that's simple simply simply just how it is all right but to every sky enjoyer we're gonna go to the front and I'm also gonna show you guys the front of my donut shop because this is a single location um, pretty successful pretty big uh, donut shop in the area a small area we, we're, I'm in Kentucky uh, just outside of the the big city Louisville. Well, technically, I'm inside. I'm in the metro, in the large metro area. Just barely. brother oh mighty uh winster are you uh are you in louisville yo that's a pub uh you live by the zoo oh okay 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 i think the zoo is how far is the zoo from here like 25 minutes luke how far was the zoo from here like 25 minutes 25 30 because that's near popular level road you gotta take the waterson Right. All right, take the Watterson, come on ICC5, and then uh, go exit Gene Snyder. You could also exit uh, Brooks, and then drive down Preston, or you could drive up Preston. I don't like Suzuki, I refuse to handle it, but I don't like Suzuki. I like, I don't know. Oh, I don't like zoos now. I like aquariums. Aquariums the, to me are cool. The worst part of the local zoo is seeing the rhino. I swear it's been in the same spot for the past fucking 15 years. I've not seen that elephant movie. The past 15 years. The uh, elephants, I remember seeing the elephants and it just took a fat dumpy. I was like, damn, <laughs> bro, that thing's the size of my head. The, the aquarium is dumpy smoking. Yeah. These fish are just too stupid. They don't understand. They're yeah. Stupid. The only thing sad is like sometimes you see sharks and they got like the nose that's yeah. bloody because they're too big. I love aquariums. I just don't like, I, zoos are like sad to me, but aquariums are cool. I had that thought when I was like, well, a little bit. Like, I would see tigers and lions and be like, hmm, should be bigger. There was some article recently about the polar bear being mistreated because he was uh, he was panting. Polar bears are apex predators, dog. It's wild that there's such a it's. Ish, ish. Ish. <sighs> but it's like it's it's like it's a weird situation because like are you gonna let him let him die? Because it can't really go back, you know. They're like too pampered and they're like they're spoiled now, you know. Maybe they can maybe they can go back. I feel like a bear might be smart enough to go back, like go back to the Arctic, Arctic. But uh, some of them are also like not healthy, so that's why they're in a zoo. I 
I feel like a cool way to make a zoo though, which would also probably be financially un impossible, would be like have like every place is like a mile big, or like for, especially for animals like a, like at least an acre for like a tiger or like a couple like be, you, the thing is the, the the bad thing about it's like it's only a couple acres you know, and it's like well you would probably want to. Uh, if you want to find them, you have to like look around a lot, and it's like, dang, you don't want to look around that much. But you have to like drive everywhere, and if like a zoo has to do that, it's a lot of time. Kind of go safaris, kind of. I guess yeah, it would be like a safari, safari drive. All right, I'm gonna have to fry these myself. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, uh, I want to move. <sighs> you like the idea of Zeus taking it back and endangered her name was back to their place. Yeah, interesting. Alright, enjoy that little thing. Is the sky still purple, pink? No? I missed it? Dang. It's alright, I missed, I missed the sign. Hopefully. Hopefully it looks the same tomorrow. Alright. Sorry about missing the sky.
Hey, Lou, what kind of twist do we have? We need chocolate. All right. That's crazy. And he was, did you notice that he was doing all that in uh, in the rock climbing shoes? I didn't notice that. Yeah, that was crazy. Bro, it just like instantly transferred his tennis talent to me. That was, yeah. God, yeah. Seven, can't do shit like that at all. And that was insane. That yeah. I was expecting him to smoke him the whole time. I thought he would never be good. Yeah. And then he was like fucking six feet behind the table. What the yeah. hell? Just the fact that that's Romero speaks French. Yeah, Romero always does speak French. Yeah, and the fact that he would actually be able to get the audience Well, it's like, but they're like, like they're about that grind type mix. He's not really about that grind. He's about that. He's on that like flexing Mexican style. Or as I say, Cuban. <laughs> that's literally how like. It's like, yeah, if Americans love Britain. Uh, we make those ones chocolate for eggs. For eggs? Or do you want to just wait till they're good just to get the other eggs? I don't get it. I'll do it. Just one? Uh, I think it's three. I'll go check real quick. Also, remind me to make an extra glazed apple fritter and also a glazed uh, sprinkle. Okay. 
No, just one, you're right. Just one? Alright, I'm gonna make another one just in case someone else asks for one. Okay. So you're gonna leave back here and put it on the strike. You can put it on the strike. We throw the other boys in line. Also, you can just take More roll dough, more dough rolling time. But um, yeah, man. Mighty, if you wanna, if you wanna swing by the donut shop, no problem. I got you. I'm trying to transfer these. Jesus Christ, why they're so slippery? The simplest answer, the simplest result, the simplest answer is most normally the best one. No, the best one. All right. Do we have tens or fives? Uh, yes. Um, the fives are in my bag. The big, my black one. It's over here. My big black one. Should be in the front pocket. I have to find those up real quick. Alright. Alright.
You know what Ed said? He said Iceland icing. Icing. It'd be cool if like all of us lived in the house. I don't know. Like, huh? I don't know. It's a weird thing. Uh, I wanted it too, but I don't know. He's too Mexican. He's gonna crash it. He's gonna drive like he's in Mexico, and then he's gonna be like, "I don't know kilometers, dog." <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, bro. I thought the sign said. Uh, wait. Well, how would that joke go? It wouldn't work. Because if it's like 70 kilometer, if it was 70 miles an hour, you're going 70 miles an hour in the 70 kilometer zone. Yeah. That's bad. But if you're driving, <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. If you're driving the other way around, you're just yeah, driving. So you'd have a, you'd have to have a car from Mexico. No, he could drive it. I just have to be like, be more strict on him. Be like, you yeah. have to drive like. Well, like more of a problem that you wanted, you'd have to have a car that's not from US when it's kilometers per hour. Well, they do. I mean, American cars have it like in a small, and the Lexus has, and the Nissan has it. 
Hola, que tengas un excelente día y tú también, gracias, Vampire Edward Elric. Edward Elric, like, uh, como, como el nombre de Fumero Alchemist. Alright, more dough. I'm gonna go check out Mori stream. Drop a follow. I should have done that earlier. Mori Wakes. Almost the Mori name kind of tricked me up. I was thinking it was a uh, VTuber. Oh, no, there's a there's a big VTuber named Mori. forgot the name. Mori something. Yes, actually. Yeah. I thought I said Vietnam Kitchen already, so I said BK. Just so I'm like, my mom, she calls all her generals BG. <laughs> BG. Well, I don't, well, it's kind of like referred to it as that. interesting weekend I had. This guy definitely ain't nothing but a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> now there's some player with a heart. One day he's gonna hang this up. One day. Which one? Oh, yeah, that, that poster. <laughs> Yo, bro, kids see ghosts, bro. It is up. You're saying the kids, so you don't see it. <laughs> 